If you want to go the extra mile and support me as a content creator, you can do so as joining as a YouTube member. All you need to do is go to the description down below and click on the YouTube gaming link. When you do, a join button will pop up and once you click it, you can become a YouTube member. YouTube members get special chat icons and emotes, exclusive Discord roles, shoutouts, and more. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can join as a YouTube member today. What's up guys? Welcome back to a new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. In today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, we're going to be talking about, we're going to be doing a ranked PP video on Dragoonities. I know that I made a Dragoonity video like a long time ago but i want to bring it back because i recently pulled this prismatic dragoonity ducks and i was like it's time to bring this deck back right here so hope you guys enjoyed today's Yu Gi Oh links rank pp video if you guys uh, are enjoying this video at any point be sure to go hit that like button down below but of course you can wait to like the video so you actually watch the full thing but yeah and i guess let's go break down this deck uh real quick so we're gonna be running one copy of spirit karibo this is definitely like a tech card i noticed that when trying out this deck on my live stream that i did recently just in general i've been breaking a lot with having like 10 monsters and 10 spawn traps so why while Spirit Karibo is more of like a hand trap, you don't really summon it that much. I don't know. I kind of like that ratio. So we're going to be rocking the Spirit Karibo kind of the tech of the deck. Running two copies of Dragon Dignity Ducks. Finally pulled a couple copies of this card. And the fact that I have a Prismatic one is honestly awesome. One of my few Prismatics I'm really happy about. So we have two copies of Dragon Dignity Ducks right there. Next up, we have two copies of a Dragon Dignity, like Plan X, or however you pronounce this card. We're running one copy of this. I can't pr freaking pronounce it anymore. Dragon Dignity Arma right here. This card's actually really cool. You can special some of this card from your hand by sending a face to Dragon Dignity Monster. You can roll the graveyard. Very nice tech um, card in the deck. You, I'm just running one of it right now because you don't really want to run too many copies of this card. So, um, yeah, but when this card pops up, it's actually really, really nice. And you can easily use this card to go for a synchro summon of like Stardust Dragon. So, that's also right there. Next, I'm running three copies of Dragoonity AK. I don't really know how to pronounce its name, but yeah, we're going to call it AK. And then last but not least, for monsters, running uh, three copies of Dragoonity Milt. So, I'm definitely one of the cards you're going to want to use uh, for this Dragoonity deck right there. So, that's the monsters right there. It's a very standard build, but honestly, it's been working out pretty well. Um, like in my live stream, I was able to get a lot of wins with this. So hopefully that will happen and we'll get some, uh, you know, good wins in the live duels. But I tried to record this video the other day and I got absolutely decimated in a ranked PP. So that's why I'm re-recording this uh, little episode right here. So hopefully things turn out well. Anyways, though, for Spell and Trash, we're running one card's a consonance. I only have one copy of it. Super nice, though, because you can discard a Dragon-type tuner with a thousand less attack and draw two cards. We're running two copies of Galaxy Cyclone. I considered running Cosmic Cyclone instead of Galaxy Cyclone so that we can pop our skill to Quick as Wind. Um, but, I mean, in most scenarios, I don't really like using my life point points just like that for cosmic cyclone so i've been running galaxy cyclone instead instead and also galaxy cyclones in the graveyard you can pop face up spell and trap cards too so i don't know it just kind of depends on what you would want to use um there so that's why we're running two copies of galaxy cyclone it might change in the future it might not next up we're running three copies of dragoonity divine lance and this card is honestly like one of the mvps of this deck honestly this equip spell kind of reminds me of supervise in a sense because supervise was like a very helpful um you know equip card for the archetype gemini's and dragoonity divine lance is kind of the same thing like this card gives so much advantage for Dragoonity monsters. It's absolutely crazy. Like, it gives it bonus attack. It's unaffected by trap effects for the uh, Dragoonity equipment, too. During your main phase, you can equip a Dragoonity type tuner from your deck uh, to a monster equipped with this card. So, you summon uh, Plan X with uh, Dragoonity Divine Lance, and you can special summon Plan X um, through its own effect to go for a synchro summon. Like, there's so much advantage through this card. Like, this card is absolutely insane. Probably one of my favorite cards in this deck. And then, last but not least, we're running one copy Canadia, one copy of Treacherous Trap. We'll kind of that combo right there. So, I'm loving that. Extra Extra deck wise, we're running one copy Star Dragon, my only level eight um, secret monster. Originally, I was actually running, um, you know, Black Wing Dragon, but I never really summon Black Wing Dragon. There's usually opportunities where I just don't want to whatsoever, so I just don't do it at all. Um, but yeah, we have a Star Dragon right here, great for destroying stuff. Um, you can use it uh, to counter against Yuval. If you have Star Dragon, like that decimates the Yuval decks, which is awesome, so I love that. So Star Dragon's awesome. Next, we're running one copy of this card right here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's one of the Dragoonity Knight Secret Monsters. It's the UR card from the box. Really cool card right there love this one next up we're teching in a flame fell just another six star um you know monster in the deck i don't really summon into this one that much but i had room in my extra decks so i was like why not let's throw this guy in there it's a prismatic so you know i gotta flex some prismatic cards and everything like that so that's cool next up we have dragoonity knights um the i don't know the gay deer i don't even know how to pronounce this it's like a g-a-e weird name but anyways we have run running one copy of this originally i didn't like this card that much but uh people in my live stream when i tried out dragoonities were telling me to quit you know throw this card in the deck and it has its uses so i threw it in here and then probably my favorite one we have uh this dragoon indian knight right here really cool one is this card attacks or his attacks during the damage step you can remove from play one only winged beast type monster from graveyard has this card gain the attack of the monsters the end phase it's not a once per turn so you can keep doing this as long as you have winged beast monsters in graveyard super cool card right there and i love it so yeah hopefully we can get some victory royales in uh today's video right here um but yeah that's kind of the deck right here and also i forgot to mention at the beginning of the video huge shout out to snoopy for inspiring me uh to play dragoon again i'll throw his uh, youtube channel in the description down below i forgot to mention 
mentioning at the beginning, my dude. But still, shout out to Snoopy for inspiring me for this deck. Let's go switch to the live rank PP duels. Okay, so we're on our first duel today's video, going against a Platinum Rank 2. That person has reached King of Games a couple times, but last season they only reached a Legend, so there's inter that's interesting right there. Going against a Yugi Moto, though. Please be an Exodia player. That'd be nice. We are going first. That kind of sucks. And this person is not. This person is definitely not a... Uh, Exodia player. Now, I think we're actually going to go for the turn one. Turn one Synchro. Ooh. Which Synchro do I want to go into? That's the question. But we're going to get the combo going. we got Spirit Kribo in our hand, which is awesome. I actually like that a lot. I might keep this as it is. I might just kind of keep... I don't know if I want to keep this feel as it is. It's been a little bit since I played Dragoonities, and I, I don't fully understand this deck yet, so I make a lot of misplays sometimes. My bad. I think we're going to go for this guy, though. I kind of want to, like, empty out my deck a little bit. I want to kind of thin my deck. But then again, I think this one might be a better choice for just protection reasons. I think I'm going to go for this one. I don't know. That's, I don't know. My guts, I don't know what my guts tell me right now, but we're going to rock this one turn one. We're going to go into this Dragoon right here. I don't even know what you call this thing. Like, it, like, I think you could, like, literally say it's, like, a gay bulge. Like, that's literally the name right there. And that's, that's kind of, that's a big yikers right there, boys. Still, though, this is probably far. This is probably my favorite Dragoonity just from its effect, though. I actually like this Dragoonity monster the most, um, honestly, right there. Just its effect is really cool. I wish that, um, I really wish, though, that the, like, gold highlights of this card were actually, like, light blue, though. Then I would love the artwork, too, of this card. But overall, this one's really cool. Anyways, I don't know what our opponent's doing. He's taking, like, a year to draw his card, so that's fun. Gotta love that. There you go. Finally draws his card. I know, I'm just kind of afraid, because I don't like opening up with just, like, a field where I only summon, like, one Synchro Monster, and then my opponent plays, like, one card and gets rid of my monster. That's never fun. That's never fun. But he's going to set a face down. He's going to set two face downs. I'm guessing I'm going against a deck that runs a lot of back row. Yep, triple back row. You got to love it. Especially when you're playing a deck that doesn't have any of those. That's literally all he did. Are you kidding me? He literally just throw down three face downs, and that's it. That's annoying. That honestly is. We're going to take out the middle back row, because clearly middle back row is the most important back row. Going to use that Galaxy Cyclone real quick. What deck is this guy playing? Like, this guy doesn't have any extra decks, so I don't know, like, what deck he would be playing in the first place, you know? Um, but yeah, this guy's he's taking, he's taking his time. This guy's taking a sweet time. Oh, he's playing for hires. That's annoying. That's annoying, but it might actually be beneficial for us, because you might have some other, like, for hire um, face downs that won't affect our monster. So this guy, getting rid of Training Fryer for um, for all your training needs was kind of like the one that we didn't want to get rid of, honestly. I think I would much rather get rid of some of the other back row. Wow, of course he had Drowning Mirror. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's fucking... Oh, come on. Of course he didn't get rid of Drowning Mirror Force. I was literally about to say, too, like, since this guy's taking a little bit to activate his face down, he doesn't have Drowning Mirror Force, but... Apparently he did, and now my monster got thrown back to the deck. What a fucking joke. I, you know, I was like hesitant on summoning this Dragonity Knight because I didn't because um, of the fact of my equip card. Ah, uh, I should have I should have not went for the Synchro Summon. We actually would have been fine, honestly, if we just had our Dragonity Ducks just chilling. We wouldn't have been affected by that uh, Drowning Mirror Force, which just sucks. That's honestly not fun at all. But I, don't know, I went first. Like, dude, Dragonity Knights going first is like rough. And this guy, this guy has Galaxy Cyclone. Are you kidding me? I literally, did, oh man, this guy had like two bluffs and then one trap card. It feels bad. Man, you know what? Maybe you gotta always go for the face down that's near the deck. The one that's near the deck is always the sauce. Is this guy really gonna throw down three more face downs? Okay, only two, but still, it's ridiculous. I'm guessing this guy bricked really bad. That's gonna be my guess. I'm gonna summon my Dragonity uh, AK though and go for the attack. Do you have another Drowning Mirror Force that you're gonna use? I, I mean, I wouldn't care if you wasted Drowning Mirror Force on this 1,000 stick, but I don't know. Okay, this guy's going to take the damage for once. I wonder what skill he's running. I wonder if he's running one of those, like, draw sense skills. That'd be my guess. All I know is that I don't think I can handle for hires right now. If you start getting his, like, if he top decks into, like, beat for hire, I'm done for. I really am. What a yikes. What a yikes, man. Like, man, is this one of my decks, though, that's camera shy? Like, I really hope that, you know, I, I don't I don't have high confidence in this duel, I'm going to be honest. This duel is kind of yikes. I barely have any resources. This guy has two cards in his hand and two face downs. He seems to be breaking really bad, though, which is nice. Cards of Constance, that's not horrible. That's not horrible. We can probably thin our deck even more. Um, But, yeah. We're just going to keep swinging at him. Let's see if he pops the skill. 
Still, I don't know. I think my chances of winning are pretty low, because this guy has so many resources compared to me. And I currently don't have anything to get rid of his back row, so there's that. Oh, okay, so he's going to go into Steel Strategist. Probably going to pop its effect to special summon something else, I would assume. Yep. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. Ah, Wiz, that's not fun. What do I want to do then? I don't think I want to Spear Karibo anything just yet. I think I want to save my Spear Karibo. Tie that binds. Okay, that makes sense. I actually completely forgot Yugi has tied this bind. That makes a lot of sense. Yo, this is. I've been seen for hires though recently. Like, honestly, for hires have been making that comeback in the ranked PP ladder. Maybe I should make a video on for hires, uh, do a video bringing them back or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're, we're in a bad spot, honestly. I don't think we can really do much from here. Let's see what our top deck is though. Yeah, it's not really a chief. Uh, we can actually do stuff with this hand, though. As long as we can get rid of one of his monsters, that would be the most beneficial thing for sure. Um, so there's that. I, I guess I'm going to go swing. I'm going to go swing into Wiz. But I'm guessing this guy's like Wall Disruption or something like that. Uh, I probably shouldn't have attacked. Yeah, this was a mistake. I mean, I went with my gut reflex on that one, though. But that back row is intimidating. Widespread Rune, okay. Uh, we're going to go into our Paleozoic Canadia. But I honestly should not have attacked because he doesn't have any way to get over my monster in the first place. I don't know why I did that. I was literally just, literally just killing myself right there. That's a rip. That is a big rip right there. I mean, on the bright side, we'll be able to live for another turn, of course. But I, I, I really should have just, uh, just chilled. I should have just left my Dragon Duty on the field because I don't know if this person would have been able to get over it. So that's fun right there. Summons another monster. Okay, he goes for Beats, Blades, and Fryer. Still, if he only summoned that, I would have been fine. Yeah, attacking was a bad choice. Actually, no, yeah, it still would have been fine. Because uh, my attack bonus from the field spell. What a mistake. We out here making misplays, at least me. I keep misplaying with Dragoonities on a camera. I know, like, my stream, I made a lot of misplays, but... Um, I don't know, I got, like, a lot of wins, too. But hopefully in the next two duels, we can get some victory royales. But yeah, we got smacked by for hires. So that was my bad. That was a big misplay for me. Let's go check out this guy's deck, though, real quick. Let's go check out this guy's deck real quick. Um, Platinum rank 1. Let's go into here. Uh, okay, so he has the tech of the Jinzo. Running the Dampa, Wiz, and Dyna. Interesting. Honestly, I think for me, I'd probably run, like, 2 Wiz and then, like, 3 Recon. Honestly. Maybe I should bring back for Hires. For Hires doesn't seem that bad to play right now, honestly. I guess they're not as overpowered as they used to be, but they, they have some combos still. They have some combos still, but we went, we lost against that guy right there. Let's go into the next duel, boys. Second duel today's video, we're going against Shane19. He's a platinum rank 1, so we might have a decent chance of winning. I don't know. Let's see these epic misplays, though. Of course we're going first. Why do I keep going first with Dragoon? Ah, I can't even pronounce it again. Dragoonities. Eh, his hand's alright. We can get Planix in the grave, which is nice. And we have some back rows, so let's see what we draw to. I don't like that. that uh, uh, why do we keep going? Why do we keep going first? I hate it. Dragoonities don't like going first. I will say, though, in my live stream that I did, I actually did get a pretty decent amount of wins going first, but... This is not it. This is not it. Okay, that guy summons that monster. Um, this card you control, it in the graveyard, you can target. I probably should have played Treacherous Trap Hole right away. Too late now, though. Control sent to the graveyard. Now, do I want... I think I'm actually going to spear that. I'm going to actually spear Kribo that. I'm going to save this stuff for now. Really should have probably popped Treacherous Trap Hole right away, but we're going to keep it now. We're just going to keep it for now. Hey, that's what I... Oh, that was perfect. That was actually what we needed. Now, the issue is with this Vanguard Dragon... Um, this Vanguard Dragon, if we destroy it by a card effect, the, the our opponent will be able to special summon a monster. So, I'm not going to go for my uh, one that goes for double the attack. Actually, I might be able to do that. No, I still don't think I'll have enough attack. Because, yeah, I could Treacherous Trap. Nah. We're just going to have to go for just the, no just the normal kill. Honestly. I think I'll go into this guy. Yeah, I'll just go into this guy instead. Let's go for that Synchro Shokun. Go for that Synchro Summon right there. Now we're at a good spot. We have some pretty good resources right now. So let's go for that sexy Synchro Summon. Into this Dragoonity Knight right here. 
And yeah, let's go. We could summon to Stardust, but I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Let's not use our card's effect. Attack into that, and then use AK to attack into our opponent directly. I'm guessing our Yami Yugi is probably playing like Destiny Draw. That'd be my guess. Still, um, our Dragoon Knight, our Synchro right here, can get over Blue Eyes White Dragon if that happens. We got back road to deal with any shenanigans that Yugi gets in our way. We're in a pretty good spot this go around, and I'm pretty happy about that. That top deck into Dragoonity Ducks was perfect. I'm really glad that I trusted my gut with Spear Karibo and uh, threw our opponent's monster into defense position so we can go for them epic synchro plays. And again, though, if our opponent took out our AK, we would have still been able to synchro summon because Dragoonity Ducks! Dragoonity Ducks coming through with this effect. What do you got, Yugi? You got four cards in your hand. What are these next level plays you're going to do? Or did you brick? Or did you brick really bad? I don't know. Oh, he just passed his turn. Wow. Okay. And we top deck into another Dragoonity Ducks. What is going on? I mean, I guess I would go for that. I guess we win. I We literally win. That's crazy. Well, that was an easy victory royale right there. Let's go into our Synchro Shoken. Top deck to the Dragoonity Ducks back to back. Let's get this victory royale. Ah, my bad. But let's go. And then we go for the effect to double its attack. So if this guy has a Spear Karibo, we should be fine. We should be good. Hey, let's go. We got that W. I'm glad that we got a win. Our opponent did brick pretty bad, though. Let's go check out this guy's deck, though, and see what he was rocking with. This is his Blue Eyes deck does not seem that optimal, though. But I do want to check his skill and everything like that and see if I actually called uh, the right move, the right play. Let's go check this out. We actually got a victory royale. Okay, he was playing Destiny Draw. Yeah, he bricked pretty bad. This deck honestly looks like he would probably want to play Arcana instead of Destiny Draw. He probably just doesn't have Arcana unlocked yet. Yeah, that would be my guess, honestly. But still, you're Platinum Rank 1. I feel like you probably are pretty close to getting Arcana locked. So this is definitely like an Arcana um, kind of deck with uh, using the Master of Magicians. So there's that right there. Well, let's go on to the next duel, though. Probably the final one in today's video. Let's see if we can get this epic victory royale. Okay, so last duel right here, going against another Platinum Rank 1. This guy was in a Gold Rank last season. Maybe another easy uh, victory right here. Let's go see what happens. So this guy is either playing a Beatdown deck, or he's playing um, Ancient Gears. Either or, let's go see what he's using. Going first. Yo, we literally went first in every one of these duels in today's video. Are you kidding me? Also, I'm going to guess by his mad sleeves, he's probably a Dragoonity player. That's just my guess. I'm just saying, guys. This is my guess. Um, I think... You know what? Let's go for that turn one synchro summon. I think that's what I want to do. Let's go for that turn one synchro summon. We're gonna we're gonna show our dominance in this duel, boys. Show our dominance real quick. Uh, next up, we're gonna go for a synchro summon. We're actually gonna go for a UR guy. I think with my resources, I'm gonna go for my UR and be fine. I want to get this guy out right away, and then we're gonna equip that uh, divine lance, and yeah, we're gonna be good. Yes, let's activate his effect. Let's add our plan X to our um, card right here. Next, up, we're going to equip the Divine Lance and then equip AK to our guy and then kind of pass turn from there. I think that's going to be the play to go. And yeah, let's just end turn. This was actually pretty good. Middle Age Max makes sense. We got Galaxy Cyclone ready to go. We have Spear Karibo to protect our monster if he somehow gets into Ancient Gear Golem right away. We have, so we have actually some pretty good hand advantage right now, which is awesome. Let's still see what this Ancient Gear player is going to do, though. I I, eh, I think I actually did use Ancient Gears against uh, Crowler before. Still, Crowler, uh, kind of Ancient Gear Crowler deck, so they definitely do use a lot of uh, trap back row. Oh, Mage Power. That's a meme. That's a meme right there. Mage Power. Speaking of Mage Power, though, I'm going to go into a rant real quick. Dude, this guy's running. Okay. This guy's running. Uh, Okay. Uh, Does this... Uh, wait, what is this? That... I think this still works, though. Phew! That was close. Woo! That kind of scared me right there. I was actually kind of scared of Gravity Blaster. Not gonna lie. I was actually, like, really scared of Gravity Blaster. Holy heck, man. Still, we literally, we literally just won this duel right here. Look at this quick OTK. Look at this quick OTK. Unless he has Spear Kribo, which you can easily have Spear Kribo. You could easily have it. Um, but we're gonna go for that OTK. Hey! 5,000 life points! Get out of here, dude! 
Anyways, what else about to say? So Mage Power. Mage Power has made me very angry recently because, so as you guys know in Duel Links, right now there's some sales going on where if you spend like a few dollars, you get three packs and a free SR. Usually those sales are pretty good. And I was like, you know what? I need to go into some of the mini boxes because I wanted to get my third copy of Blue Boy so I can build like you know, spell books completely. And then I was trying to get my second copy of Vampire Kingdom from the Vampire Box. Let me tell you, Konami hates me, dude. I went into the box with Blue Boy and I literally pulled a prismatic mage power. And what made me mad about that is I actually already have a mage power, okay? I already have a prismatic mage power. Like, let me show you, boys. I am very angry by this from Konami. Like, this honestly makes me angry. Uh, let's type in mage power real quick. Like, I literally have two copies of mage power now. And I just wanted a blue boy or a vampire kingdom from the other box. But Konami did not like me right there. So that made me very sad. But either than that rant aside, that's going to be it for today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. If you guys enjoyed today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video and you haven't already, be sure to go hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content. Or if you guys like my personality and everything like that, feel free to subscribe. Because I'm actually going to make some other content soon that's not, you know, Duel Links. It's very similar to Duel Links, but it's not Duel Links. So if you're interested in, like, you know, my personality and, like, um... Me as a content creator, be sure to go hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, and I'll go see you guys in the next one. Peace out.